Hello students, welcome to class 10th SST. In this section, we are dealing with the chapter 3rd of history of class 10th that is nationalism in India. In this sequence, I have developed and divided this chapter in 5 parts and this is the 5th part of this section. Children, till now you had studied about nationalism, how nationalism feeling, nationalistic feeling developed in Indian territory, who were responsible, who contributed most. It is the very simple answer, Mahatma Gandhi, his contribution was the most. Along with this, the idea of nationalism is spread in India and it only it is spread in India when people started imagining a nation that they belong to a particular nation or same nation when they thought that we peoples are the part of the same nation means there is something that binds them and keeps them united what is that the answer is nationalism children once some more question started rising in this contest and people started thinking that what is that thing that people needs along with this what is the you know thing that people becomes to develop the sense of collective belonging how people have a particular identity how they become collective how they feel that we are a part of this country so to answer the sense of collective belonging we are going to discuss this article in this article first portion is to develop the sense of collective identities that is the sense of collective belonging came partly through the experience of united struggle and growing anger among people against British Empire that is colonial government children it came in various parts part by part and it was because of united struggles of Hindu Muslim and various other communities and it developed anger anger was growing because of suffering hardship they suffered because of this colonial government and this made nationalistic feeling stronger and stronger and the sense of collective belonging became more dominant children second thing along with this there was also a variety of cultural processes through which nationalism captured people's imagination what were those cultural processes many types of cultural processes means various you know uh, you can say community people had their culture and they processed means they try to understand their ideas their teachings and the results so here the you know there was a variety of cultural processes means cultures you can say they were forced and they started to struggle against this colonial government and this created the sense of collective belonging children one thing more the identity of nation symbolized in a figure or image of Bharat Mata created through literature, songs, paintings, etc. Means the identity of nation, it was symbolized by a female figure, Bharat Mata. Children, in Euro Indian, you can say, nationalism in Europe, you had studied that in Germany, that lady figure, that female figure was Germania. In similar manner, in India, that female figure is considered as Bharat Mata. And this has different imagination. You know, in one of the painting of Bharat Mata, there is a lady which is seen in ascetic 
condition she had a garland in one hand and you know in another hand she had cloth and in another hand she had paper and very other thing that shows that our country is going to develop economically as well as it is going to be united and it had a special you can say devotion of people it attracted the devotion of people people used to just you can say bow down their heads in front of this female figure and it created the sense of collective belonging whether they belongs to any community any religion any language group so here bharat mata created you can say sense of collective belonging children we will try to understand the image of bharat mata this image of bharat mata was first created by bankim chandra chattopadhyay he belongs to bengal and he also wrote vande matram this song was sung nationwide and still it is sung and it created the movement more effective children and another thing the picture of bharat mata was first painted by abhinandanath tagore understand means the painting was made by abhinandanath tagore and this picture was created by bankim chandra chatopadhyay this question is asked in board examination in two types and students gets confused and they writes you know subsequent answers and sometime lose marks so be careful here children one thing more here this picture it created you can say a special attraction of common people people bowed down in front of this female figure and it made nationalism more stronger so the female figure it was very you can say a symbolic thing that was there along with this the movement to revive indian folklore to enhance nationalist sentiments folklores folk tales and all other things they were also important so the role movement to revive indian folklore indian folklore means many types of culture they were in india still it is there and all these cultures they had different types of folklores you know children these folklores were you know so attractive means people they had special sentiments towards these folklores and they had to unite easily when these folklores were sung at a particular place secondly these peoples they it enhanced nationalist sentiments because it attracted people because it was their culture that's why they united easily and you know rabindranath tagore he also did a lot of work in this sector he collected ballads he collected nursery rhymes and myths so that this folklore should be revived children one thing more to revive this folklore in madras there was natesha sastri he published four massive volume collection of folk tales so in madras he did a lot of work that is natesha shastri and the his collection name was the folklore of southern india and this collected many folklores and many types of you know you can say rhymes many types of you know songs and that was related to india's integrity and unity <coughs> children it created their theme and it attracted and it connected the hearts of people that's why this movement to revive indian folklore to enhance nationalist sentiments was another steps towards creating the sense of collective belongings one thing more children the role of icons and symbols in unifying people and inspiring in them a feeling of nationalism role of icons that is our national flag it was icon image of bharat mata was also icon 
and similarly many types of icons were responsible for creating sense of collective belongingness children you should know that first icon indian tricolor that was of red green and yellow color it was designed with eight lotuses there were eight lotus and these lotuses represented eight provinces of british empire in india at that time and this icon it also gained attraction of the people along with this children in this there was a crescent moon also it symbolized the unity of hindu and muslim to attract the attention of hindus and muslims this flag was designed at that time but by 1921 swaraj flag was designed this swaraj flag contain red green and white color quite different from that in that one there was red green and yellow and here the color is red green and white and children at the center it contain a symbol of spinning wheel the symbol of prosperity and peace and along with this it created a you can say a it created i means icons and symbols became more fruitful to create the sense of collective belonging and people started gathering together becoming united and made struggle stronger and stronger children one thing more finally it by creating a feeling of nationalism was through reinterpretation of history itihas ke panno ko fir se palta gaya means we had reinterpreted we had once again went in our past and we found our indian heritage and culture the successfulness and the you can say achievements of indian arts and literature indian science and maths indian crafts indian you can say various other portions you that was you know matter of self pride people became you proud of our indian culture and when they studied indian history they thought that what we had achieved in past that was totally damaged by these colonial powers mughal powers and we could not succeed but at this moment we will have inspiration from this you can say past history and we will try to gain and achieve that position and this dignity this you can say strong feeling of even common people that created sense of collective belonging and they united together and the momentum of struggle for independence became more stronger and stronger and it created a huge success and as a result in 1947 india became independent and british colonial government was compelled to quit india thank you for watching this clip have a nice day